All right, so what we want to do today is learn a little about how to use the Paste Special in PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to go down to the uh, next slide here. What I have here is um, a grouped object. So when we click on it, you can see it's actually a grouped object. And what's we, what we have inside the group object is we have a regular PowerPoint shape. So now this is a square circle. Um, I added the circle and the rounded rectangle so you can kind of see uh, what happens to the rounding. Uh, we also have a, a gradient fill in here, and then we have a picture. So this is a group object. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this. Now when we go up to the Paste option here, if we click on the drop-down arrow, you'll see that we have Paste Special. And as we select Paste Special, you'll see this menu comes up. And it gives us some options. And so I'm just going to focus on the graphics for right now. So I can insert it as a Microsoft Office graphic, which is kind of what it is now. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a few of the different uh, picture formats. So we'll insert this as a PNG. And so we have the PNG right here. And uh, let's go ahead and um, title these here. So this is the PNG. And then we'll insert it. So this is the PNG down here so we don't forget. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this here. And we're going to insert it as a GIF. And we'll also insert it as a um, JPEG so we can kind of look at some of the differences. So that's the PNG. Now we're going to do a Paste Special and we're going to insert it as a GIF file which we have right up here and then we'll insert it as a JPEG as well. So let's go ahead and insert it. Paste Special. We'll insert it as a JPEG and then we've got that. So now one of the first things you'll notice is uh, let's go look at the GIF first. So I can insert it as a GIF or GIF file. And what you'll notice is the uh, object is transparent, where if I insert it as a, a JPEG, uh, the white area here isn't transparent. You can see that when I move it over. So wherever it was transparent, the JPEG can't handle transparency, uh, so that's missing. Uh, the GIF does handle transparency, but if we zoom in here, let's go ahead and zoom in a little, uh, you'll notice that the image quality on the JPEG is degraded. And you especially see that on the gradient uh, compared to the GIF or uh, the PNG. Now what's nice with the PNG, if we scroll out, is the PNG will maintain the image quality of the JPEG and it also maintains the transparency of the GIF. So what I typically do is I'll just paste it as a PNG and this way I have a transparent image and a nice looking image. So that's if you do the GIF and um, uh, PNG or GIF and JPEG. So I insert as a PNG. Now uh, one of the things with the PNG though is if I go to right click on this I can change the picture but I can't ungroup it and manipulate it where it's a PowerPoint object. I can come in here and manipulate that. So if I wanted to maintain these as vector, then I can go ahead and paste special. And then I've got two choices. One is I can do an enhanced meta file, and the other is a Windows meta file. And they're basically the same. The only is that the, the main difference is the enhanced Windows uh, meta file is going to give you uh, a better image quality. So I just go ahead and choose that. So when I hit OK, what you'll notice is I got nice image quality and I can scale the image and it's still going to stay relatively crisp where if I scale the um, the ping uh, you, and you probably don't notice it on these images but if I scale the ping file eventually you'll start to see some image degradation so being able to keep it um, as an enhanced uh, meta file helps and the other thing is I can ungroup it so I can ungroup that and now I can actually manipulate these objects so I can move them around. But you'll notice when I ungroup it, everything gets ungrouped. And so you have all these other shapes uh, that you might not have had before. But uh, it just depends on what you want to do. So you can use the uh, copy and then paste special and you can uh, do some neat things. Now one of the nice things, if we go back here, we'll delete that. One of the nice things is that I can create an image in PowerPoint using a bunch of shapes and then I can paste that back in as an image file. And now instead of having multiple shapes, it's just a single image. So that's one of the benefits of using Paste Special.